Hello, welcome back to Planet J Judah. Can you tell I'm using my mic today? I haven't used my mic in a really long time. Let me know, which way do you think is better with or without the mic? Anyways, let's get on to what we are doing today. So I believe it was last week I made this Mickey coaster, pumpkin Mickey coaster. And it was requested that I do a tutorial. So that is what we're going to do today. Now I am going to make a few changes, actually just a couple, but I'm going to make a at least two changes uh, on this one. I'm going to pop up the picture for the inspiration and how that I copied it from. And you'll see, uh, I thought that there was sing a row of single crochets around the edge. And what that actually did is it caused it to kind of cup like that. And that is because it is starting the two part of the round. So it builds it into a tube. And we don't want to do that. So I'm not gonna be doing the um, single crochet on the edges. I'm just going to simply finish it and be done. And also, now from the picture, there's only three rows in the bigger part of the Mickey icon. So the face, there's only three rounds. And each ear is two rounds. Well, if you go to tr if you go true to form to the Mickey icon, the face part is actually double the size of each ear. So this needs to actually be four rounds instead of three. So that is the other change that I'm going to make is four rounds instead of three. And then, of course, I'll do the stem and the leaf. I've already made my two ears. And this time, I will say I almost almost forgot to leave a tail to attach to the face of the Mickey, but, and, and I started to do that. I really did. I, I um, ended and I went to weave it into the center to tie the two together to knot them. And then I was gonna, I would have gone around a couple of times in the center part. And before I did that, I remembered that I needed a tail to attach it to the body or the face. So I went ahead and I finished knotting it. I did three knots and then I worked it, worked both of them back through so that they would be at the bottom. So now I have my two ears ready to attach to the head. And last time I believe I said that my leaf was sage but it's actually thyme so it's red heart super saver in the color thyme t-h-y-m-e so like the the herb so yeah i love it and of course red heart super saver orange in the colorway pumpkin because you know it's got to be pumpkin <laughs> And other supplies that you will need is your hook. I am using a five millimeter. Let me see if, I don't know if you can see that. Come on. Anyways, it is the H8 five millimeter hook. And of course you're going to need a needle, a needle <laughs> and scissors to cut your thread. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and make Mickey's head. All right, so the reason why I already made the ears is because it's the same steps as the head will be. You just stop at row, round two instead of going on to rounds three and four. So to get started, we are going to do a magic ring and you need to make sure you have enough yarn so that you can bring it back through so you're gonna be like at here at the end, and I'll show you obviously in just a moment, but you're gonna um, bring it back through to create your tail to attach. Actually, for the head, you don't need to do that because we're not attaching anything. 
with the head. We're attaching to the head. So never mind. Scratch that. <laughs> Let's just simply make our round or head. So we're going to make a magic ring. And by doing that, let's see. Can I do this? Why am I having such issues? It just knew. There we go. So what we're going to do. Oh, my goodness. All of a sudden, I can't remember how to do the magic ring. Do you ever have that issue? Okay. So I've got my end here and I'm holding it in between my thumb and my two fingers and you're going to wrap it around, wrap the working yarn around your fingers and form an X. Now I'm doing it with the opposite hand that I will crochet with. As if you can, however you can make your magic ring, make your magic ring, but this is how I do it. So I've got an X here. I'm going to go under this first bar right here and over the second one and I'm going to pull through twist and then go back under that same bar and pull through with a slip knot and all that's going to do is secure our ring so that we can let it go. Okay, so now our magic ring is is made or formed and there we go. I'm going to go right in. I'm not going to do any chains because as we all know I love the double stacked single crochet. Say it with me double stacked single crochet. So we're going to simply start with our first single crochet and then we're going to um, yarn over and then pull through both of our Oh, rings, whatever. Oh my goodness, my brain. Can anybody explain to me why when I get on camera, I can't remember anything that I want to say or how to actually say stuff? So now what we are going to do is, I don't know if you can see that, but you've got the two bars from the single crochet and we're gonna go under the bar furthest away from our hook. So we're going to go under that bar, that front bar, and we're going to yarn over and pull through. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through the two right there. And that is our first double crochet. So now we need to make 11 double crochets, and that will be 12 total double crochets in the magic ring. So we have our 12. We are going to close up that ring. Don't worry, we will tighten it up later and close it up even more. But now we are going to slip stitch into the top of that double stack single crochet. And that is right there. Right there. And that will close our ring. And so now we are going to go on to round two. And by doing so, we are going to do another double stack single crochet into the same spot that we did the slip stitch. So we're.
right, so now if we were just doing the ear, this is where we would stop and we would fasten off. I would do the seamless or I forget what it's called, but I would connect it to make it look seamless, I guess, or yeah, never mind. My brain is not working, so I'm not even going to try, but I would make sure that I fastened off and made it look like another stitch. So this is where you would stop for your ears at round two, but we are going to continue because we need two more rounds. And so therefore we are going to go in the top of the double stacked single crochet with a slip stitch. That should be right here. Okay, so now we have joined the the two the round and now we're going to start our third row and we are going to do a double stack single crochet in the same place that we did the slip stitch. All right, so now we have our first double crochet. And this time, instead of doing a two double crochets in every stitch, we're gonna do two double crochets in the first stitch. So we're gonna do another double crochet in that same space that we just made the double stack single crochet. If I could get it to come through. Come on. There we go, oops. It popped out. All right, we'll try this one more time. There we go. All right, so now we've made two double crochets in that same space. Now we're going to do a double crochet into the next space. And then two double crochets into the following space. So that's gonna be our repeat. We're gonna do two double crochets and then one double crochet, two double crochets and then one double crochet. And we're gonna meet around until we have, oh, it's another 12. So 24, 36, yes, 36 stitches. Three. Oops, that was a oops. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five, and then one, so that's six. Then two, so seven, eight. Then one, oops. I need to do my eight. <laughs> so now one, so that's nine. And then two, so 10 and 11. And we'll keep going all the way around until we have 36 stitches. So we now have 36 in our third row or round. We are going to slip stitch into the top of that double stack singles crochet, which is right here. Oops. So that closes round three. And now for round four, we're going to, again, do our double stack single crochet into that same space. 
So that's our first single crochet and our second single crochet. Now we're going to do a double crochet in that same space, creating two double crochet in the same space. So now instead of doing two double crochet, one double crochet, we're going to do two double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochet. So each round is adding another 12 stitches. So we just did 36, now we should have 48. So we've got two. Our next one will be three. Then go into the next stitch, that's four. Now we're gonna do two into the next stitch, that's five, six. And then one into the next one, seven. One into the next one, eight. And then two. All right, so we are now at the end of round four and our final round. So we are going to simply, we're not gonna fasten off because I'm gonna do an invisible seam. That's what it is, an invisible stitch. So we're now going to, whoops, I can cut, there we go. Instead of fastening off, I'm still, I'm gonna pull through and I'm going to make this the next stitch, closing off the round. So we are going to go through the top of that double crochet, which is right here. And then we are going to go back through that last loop that we were in, creating the seamless or invisible join. Well, alrighty then. So apparently I was running my mouth too long and I was running out of storage on my phone. So I'm not sure where it ended, but we made the um, invisible join by going through the top of the double stack single crochet and then coming back around and going through the top of the loop that we were coming from. So now it has a invisible join and I mean you can tell but you can't tell. So that's what the invisible join looks like. And now I'm going to run my yarn down to the center piece. Okay, I'm not sure where you saw that because my camera keeps going out, but now we can join the two ears, creating our Mickey icon. And as you can see, the ears themselves are actually half the size of the head. So now we're gonna go ahead and start working on our leaf. All right, my camera keeps shutting off, so I turned off the mic or took off the mic, so we'll see. Uh, let me know now that you'll actually hear the difference between with the mic and without the mic. Um, hopefully it won't continue. I really should have, gosh, this is a dark color. I will be right back. I'm gonna get a piece of paper and we'll get back to it in just a second. All right, so I was having some technical difficulties. My mic stopped working. I don't know if when I said that it, I stopped using the mic, but now it's actually stopped working. I had to restart my phone. So I did create half the leaf and yeah. Anyways, so we're gonna start all over again. I'm gonna do a slip knot and then we will chain eight. I'm gonna hopefully try and do that first one a little loose because I always seem to do it way too tight than I need to. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now we are going to go into every chain scaling up. So the first, well, not every chain, we're gonna skip that first chain and we're gonna go into the second chain with a slip stitch. Oops. Now we're gonna go into the next chain with a single crochet. The next chain will be a half double crochet. The next one will be a double crochet. And now we're going to go back down. So we're gonna do a half double crochet. single crochet and lastly a slip stitch there we go oops we're doing a slip stitch okay so instead of chaining one and turning our work we're going to work on the other side of the leaf. So now I'm going to slip stitch in the same stitch and then one more to get to to kind of like round the corner and so now I'm going to work my way back down doing single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, and lastly, the slip stitch. And that creates our leaf shape. So now I'm going to do a, let's see. See, this is where I always forget how to do stuff because I'm just trying, I'm winging this leaf here. So I think I want to go in Actually, no, I think I just want to fasten off. No. Yeah, I'm going to fasten off. Cut my yarn. Oops. Pull my hair. Pull it through. And it's not perfect but it is definitely a leaf shape. I'm going to get my yarn on my needle and weave it down to the bottom so that it lines up with the other tail. I'm gonna do that from the underside or the back side. Now it is ready to be sewn on to the Mickey head. And now we're going to do the stem, which that is super easy. I don't have to remember anything. It is, like I said, super easy. We're gonna do a slip knot, excuse me. And however you want 
the however long you want your stem to be. You do that many chains. So if I want it to be half of my leaf, I did eight chains. So then I'm going to do four for the stem. That was three and four. And now all we're going to do is slip stitch our way back down through the back loops of our chains. I like going through the back loops because I think it looks a little neater. It's just a little difficult though. Okay. I'm tightening up that last chain too much, but all right. Slip stitch back down. There we go. We'll, we'll skip that first one. It's not going to matter. So that's one. Two. And three. Now with this, we're simply going to cut it off. Or actually, I'm going to fasten off. Then cut. And now we will be able to tie the stem onto our Mickey. Alrighty, now we are going to assemble our Mickey. I'm so excited. So I always try to um, line up, because this is where the rows met together or the rounds joined together. So to kind of hide, that's where I want my Mickey ears to go. And so now I'm just trying to figure out where I want them to go. I think that's good. What do you think? A little further down? I think that's good. So we're going to say roughly... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That's what we'll do. So. All right, so one, two, three. Okay, we're just going to simply go in and out, looping the two together, sewing the two together. All right, so as you can see, I have finished sewing on my first ear. Daryl came in and took some of my studio, portable studio wall out, and he's working on that, so that's what happened. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on the other ear. Excuse me, so basically what I did is, I went over one, two, three, four, there's that. Five, one, two, three, four. So somewhere right there, I think we'll start. And I did three stitches one way, three stitches the other way, worked my way back and so that I could tie them together. But I'll show you that in just a moment. <laughs> 
simply tie the two ends and I always do three because that just makes me feel better <laughs> you don't have to do three but do whatever makes you feel comfortable Okay, now we're gonna tie in our ends or weave in our ends. All right, so now we have our Mickey icon and we just need to add our leaf and our stem. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my stem first cause I want it mostly in the center. So we are going to fix it right there. I'm going to go through the back loops only and and actually I can just I have two ends. Go through the back loops of the next one. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, that works, that works. Simply tie that in a knot. And now I'm going to weave in my ends by going back through one of those and back into my stem here. All right, so now we've got our stem on. And since it's actually not quite in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and put my leaf like right there to kind of even it out. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go through the back of... Okay, so it said I had too much stored in my phone and I couldn't continue on. So hopefully I get to finish this. Oh my goodness, this is quite the odyssey of a video. So now we're going to just knot the two together. Again, you can knot them however you want, however many times you want. I do three. And 
and same as the stem we're going to weave in our ends but I'm going to come back when it's done and show you the final result. Alrighty, here is the end result or the final result and I think it's really cute. There you go. Here's the new and improved Minky Pumpkin. Here is the first one I did and here's the second one I did. Now what I did right with this one is I didn't, and as you, wow, it's a lot stiffer too. I didn't do that row of single crochets without increasing, which is what caused this one to buckle like it is. So this one's going to lay flat. Now I will say even my husband said that the ears could be a little bit bigger, but we did want them to be half of the Mickey head. So maybe not quite half, but we don't want to do a full row because a full row would then be basically like this one, which would be too big. So what I was thinking is the next time I do this, instead of doing just the two rows or rounds of double crochets, I would do the final third round, but in a shorter stitch. I'm just not sure if I want it to be a half double crochet or a single crochet. Daryl, like I said, it's working on my wall, so there's a lot of noise going on. But anyways, I'm thinking that it needs to be just ever so slightly, hopefully that's not too noticeable, just ever so slightly bigger so that it's a little bit bigger. This is just a touch too small. I will say this, you notice this ear is slightly bigger than this ear, and that is because my tension was completely different. I did this one tighter than I did this one. So, I mean, it's not going to be perfect. I will say this. I perfected how to attach the leaf and the stem because compared to this one, it's you can totally see where it goes into the pumpkin. Here, you have the more of the pumpkin instead of like a big... Um, like it would have been, if I had done it the way that I did it on this one, instead of seeing that orange line right there, you would have that green going into the pumpkin. I don't know. It's up to you though. <laughs> this has been quite the video. I absolutely do love this new Mickey pumpkin. Although if you did just this, it looks like an orange or a grapefruit, a big orange. Anyways, I love it. It came out really cute. Am I going to do it again? Of course. I'm going to experiment and work on trying to making the ears just ever so slightly bigger. So I'll play with half double and or actually I, I'll play with half double crochet and then also see what single crochet, but instead of just doing each row or never mind, increasing, I'm going to obviously continue to increase the size so that it doesn't start to curl in. This has definitely been an odyssey to film. This has been easy to make. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click all on the notification bell. It is time to end this, uh, this odyssey, this craziness. So with that, remember, gravity works, guys. Oh my goodness. Right.